In this video I'll show you how to use the Lesson Activity Toolkit and some of the features that are within it and then how you can edit some of the pre-made templates. So the Lesson Activity Toolkit, if you go in the upper left hand corner, there's a page sorter tab and then click on the gallery tab. Within there you should have um, a folder labeled Lesson Activity Toolkit. If we expand it, um, it has some of the different pieces within there. Now I like to go into the examples section first just so you can see some of the ways that teachers have used some of these before. So if I go to activities you can look at some of the activities that teachers have created so you can kind of get an idea how you may use those. For example, let's, let's take a peek at the image range. So to add this to your um, Smart Notebook lesson you would either double click or you could drag and drop it. So within, you need to reorder these in the amount and lowest value. So I can just try this and see what it's like. Now, let's say that I like this and I wanted to edit it. If I come up to the upper left-hand corner, I can click on Edit, and I can change these images. So I could drag another image into here. Let's extend my page, and let's go to the Gallery tab, and let's find Numbers. Let's find a picture and just the picture of one. So let's say I want to change this image. So I would just drag this one and see how it turns yellow. If I drop that there, it will automatically put that number there. So, and I can change how many images there are as well. So once I feel that I've sufficiently edited this and I can put other images in here as well, I can click OK. And now move these pieces around. I can also check so I can have to see if they're in the right spot. I can reset it so if the kids want to do it again using it as a center or I can solve it so I can see what the actual correct answer would be. Notice if I go back to edit I put them in order on here so that's how they know the order that should be when the kids are actually doing it. And I could spend a lot of time showing every single one of these but the best way is just to go into the examples section and look under the lesson activity toolkit and examples and just try some of the activities and see which ones you like. And as far as the editing piece, each one's going to be very similar. So if I went to a new page and I tried this one, I click edit, and same thing here. I can click and it'll show me, and I can actually create my, manipulate these and create my lesson using this. Some of these, even with the examples of a video, if you click on here, I'll take you out and show you how to use the, each of the different um, interactive pieces. So that kind of sums it up. Now if you click under, if you're done searching through some of the examples and you go to the activities, this is where they actually have just the different activities that are available to you. And if you click image map or arrange, they have the different colored ones and you can choose one of these and insert it into your lesson and then have a blank one to start with. So under activities, these are all blank activities that you can start with um, after you've seen some examples. So there's lots of, t lots of different ones in here and this would work great as a station because with it you can have students check themselves and then also reset it so it's a good way for them to have it as a station as well.